สวัสดีครับ and good afternoon once again today is Monday the 22nd of November 2021 and this is the English language summary of the press briefing that we have here at the Center for COVID Situation Administration or CCSA as always now we have our briefing for you every Monday Wednesday and Friday so thank thank you to Dr Apisamai for the Thai language summary just now one of the issues that she raised was about the entertainment venues she had some statistics on that in terms of the standardization and the SHA uh, standard, as well as the COVID-free setting, that entertainment venues are to set up and uh, enforce. Now, that enforcement is still not very high. There had been some uh, inspection of various entertainment venues in certain areas, and it was found that some still needed improvement. But first, I'll update you on the Thailand Pass, that it's now been four weeks since we reopened the country. So let's start off with that first. As of 9 a.m. today, we have logged a total of 262,008 applications on the Thailand Pass system. And of that number, a total of 206,814 have been approved, of which 107,962 were auto-approved. For the period from the 1st of November until the 21st of November, yesterday, we have a total of 85,608 travelers entering Thailand. And of this number, the majority, or 66,622 travelers, entered via the test and go, or the quarantine exemption scheme. We have 16,228 entering via the sandbox scheme, the pro province, provinces that are in the, in the sandbox scheme, and 3,758 entered uh, with uh, quarantine, including both uh, seven-day quarantine and 10-day uh, quarantine. The majority of international travelers come from uh, these top 10 countries of origin, namely the United States, Germany, the United Kingdom, Japan, Russia, Republic of Korea, France, UAE, Israel, and Switzerland. Out of the total number of travelers, 112 were tested positive for COVID-19, or 0.13%. This means that the requirements we've put in place for the reopening uh, are working quite well in screening out the patients uh, from the majority and the majority of uh, the travelers are COVID-free. However, please note that if you're planning to travel to Thailand or know anyone who is traveling to Thailand, please make sure to book the SHA Plus hotels or the SHA Extra Plus standard hotels, as they are the hotels that meet Thailand's safety and health standards and are eligible to be used as hotels under the sandbox scheme, sandbox program, and as venues to wait for your RT-PCR test result under the exemption from quarantine scheme. The package that travelers booked should include the post-arrival RT-PCR test, as well as transportation to the hotel. This is important so as to avoid any unnecessary inconvenience when you arrived at the airport. Now, Dr. Apisamai also mentioned about the daily CCSA meeting that we had uh, this morning as well. So the Department of Consular Affairs also talked about that during the meeting this morning. The Thailand Pass system uh, was explained and elaborated to the general public through various uh, modes, including through cooperation with uh, private companies, uh, travel companies like Agoda as well. So it's very important that uh, travelers book SHA Plus or SHA Extra Plus hotels. Now they have been found that some of the some of the hotels may have uh, been some of some hotels may have not included uh, various requirements there. So, so those are not the hotels which are in the SHA Plus. Uh, please be sure that the SHA Plus uh, hotels that you booked uh, will have the, all the necessary requirements, the RT-PCR 
uh, test in cooperation with hospitals and transportation and the like, as, as mentioned. If it's not an SHA hotel, then uh, it's better not to book it because it won't be according to the standards of entering Thailand. And for those who are still awaiting for approval of the Thailand Pass or may have further in inquiries, please directly contact the call center of the Department of Consular Affairs, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and you have the numbers there on screen, 30 call lines, 30 lines, and the following phone numbers, uh, cell phone numbers, as you see on screen there, which are operational 24 hours. And you can also see the email for reporting technical problems there on screen, support at tp.consular. Go th. Now moving to the vaccination progress of our drive, we yesterday we administered 185,639 doses of vaccines, increasing the cumulated number. You see on screen there, screen there on the top right, increasing the cumulated number of vaccinations to almost 89 million doses, almost 89 million doses. Percentage-wise, we have around 65% of Thailand's population now having received the first dose, and more than 54%, or over 39 million people, now having received their second dose already. For the vaccination within pilot tourism provinces, we have a slightly better percentage, which is 87.7% of the population of Chonburi province, as one example of the pilot. 87.7% uh, of people in Chonburi have received the first dose, while 85.8% in Phuket have received the first dose. In Chiang Mai, over 79% of the population have received their first, first dose. So we continue at the CCS, CCSA, continue to push for accelerated vaccination drive nationwide and to promote the COVID-free setting in the workplace and public areas. And of course, as I mentioned in the beginning, entertainment venues are very important as well. Now for the general situation, we have 6,428 cases uh, as new confirmed cases. Uh, compared to the new recoveries, which is 7,882 cases, slightly higher than the number of new confirmed cases, more recoveries than the new confirmed cases. We have active cases at 85,768, of which 1,595 are in critical condition and 382 are on ventilators. Slightly lower number of fatalities, very good to hear, of course, but very sad to hear of any fatality. New fatalities we recorded today at 49. And on the provincial distribution of cases, we just like to point out the 10 top 10 provinces with COVID-19 cases to date now. Uh, that's coming up for you. The provinces which uh, have the highest uh, number of cases is Bangkok, followed by Songkla, as well as Nakhon Si, Tamarat, and Ratburi province. Now the numbers uh, which are colored in, in green are actually numbers which are less than the previous day. Well, if you see on screen now in red, it's a little bit more, more than the previous day. So you see there Bangkok and Nakhon, see Tamarat and uh, Ratburi having more cases today than yesterday. So this is the situation in the various uh, provinces, top 10 provinces. And as the overall situation is improving, we cannot let our guard down, surely. Should maintain all the recommended health and security measures. We continue here at the CCSA, continue to encourage businesses to create, create this COVID-free setting, which includes regular cleaning sessions, uh, vac vaccination, vaccination of staff, regular ATK tests for staff, also encouraging the implementation of basic public health measures, such as thermal scanners and regular cleaning sessions to be considered for safe reopening. Now, it's very important to still remind everyone of this uh, because, as I mentioned, in terms of the entertainment venues, other businesses and other settings uh, have also been uh, lax, lax in terms of the enforcement and setting up of the COVID-free setting. 
Now, just as a reminder, you have that infographic there on screen for you. So before the end of this briefing, just like to talk about some updates on the development of our homegrown vaccine. We have Julakov-19, which is an MNRA vaccine developed by Julalongkorn University, in, uh, which is entering the third phase of trial. And if all goes according to plan, Julalongkorn will seek approval for this use by the Thai FDA by mid next year. And lastly, while we're reopening and relaxing various measures, the CCSA would like to reiterate that under the Communicable Disease Act, you are required to always wear masks, to always wear masks. Now I'm adjusting my mask so you can, I, I can, I can call attention to the to, to about masks, that you are required to wear masks while you're, you're in public spaces or while doing activities in groups. Now, there is a maximum of 20,000 baht fine for failing to do so. So just to repeat, you are required to always wear this mask, any mask, while in public areas, and a maximum of 20,000 baht fine for any failure to do so. So with that note, this is all I have for you today. Thank you for your attention, and we'll see you again on Wednesday. Sorry, Kap.